Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 19, 2020. We're going to look at these uh, five currency pairs, and we'll start by looking at the uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. If you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. That helps this channel a lot. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, there was not a lot of action in the foreign exchange market on, on Friday's session. We are still trading uh, in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving, uh, moving average. And there is not a really clear sign of where we are going at this point. We are technically just trading sideways or in between these two moving averages. A breakdown below the 100 moving average will open the door to the 300 moving average at uh, 12 12. Uh, 78. A break above the 50 moving average, the wheel will go first to these highs of uh, 1309, uh, and then we will go to these highs at 1349. Uh, Technical indicators are fairly mixed. They are more bearish than they are bullish. We can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line. The RSI is heading to lower levels. The same goes of the CCI. But the stochastic is showing signs of, of, of this, this pullback is probably going to end. And we are right in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we need a clear sign in this market. First, if you want to buy, a clear sign that will break above the 50 moving average. But there's a lot of resistance uh, support underneath there. So... The furthest we probably will go to is towards that 200 moving average is at 1266. So if you look at the US dollar yen, we rallied up towards that 20 exponential moving average, but this is probably as far as this market will go. Um, <clears throat> there is just a lot of resistance above um, both for no, 20, 40, 50, the trend line here, and especially the 100 moving average. I do expect this market to fall towards this trend line here at around 103. Technical indicators are showing signs of strength at this point. And so we may just hang around this area, rally up towards the 100 moving average, uh, buy some time before we, we technically fall to lower levels. I have no interest in buying this. This is a, a long-term downtrend for this currency pair as you can see and at some point we are basically going to break towards this lower trend line it will most likely highly depend on the us dollar index so if you look at the euro and the us dollar we did rally up towards the 20 and 40 exponential moving average broke down again and now we're trading in between those moving averages and the 100 moving average it is not clear where we'll go from here. Uh, we technically also need a clear sign that we had to, if we want to sell, we need a breakdown below the, the 100 moving average, which is at this point at 11.67, or a break above the 50 moving average at 11.79. Um, yes. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is showing signs of, of, uh, of bearishness. RSI is flat. Uh, CCI is technically also flat. The stochastic is looking very bearish. And the, the Bollinger Band is just above these lower levels here. So it's not a good, uh, good uh, pair to trade, similar to the US uh, sterling and the US dollar there's just not a clear sign of where we are technically going at this point. The Aussie US dollar, we rallied, broke down again, and now we are most likely going to go to these lower levels. This is not a sign of, of strength. This is a sign of weakness. And the, the technical indicators are also showing that we are most likely going to go lower. We probably won't go significant lower to 0 0.70 is probably where we'll go before we rally again. Technical indicators are all very bearish, so we are most likely going to go lower. No interest in basically buying this at this point. Probably if we rally from this level here, we will also find support from the 150 moving average. That is a sign of we can basically go higher. 
So we have the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We found resistance at the 40 expansion week average, which was also expected. Uh, if we rally uh, through the 40 expansion moving average, we will run, definitely run into resistance at the 100 moving average. But at this point, I do believe that we'll find, <clears throat> we'll probably trade sideways for a few days before breaking down towards these uh, trend lines here. Technical indicators are really mixed for this. Um, the MACD is basically trending sideways. The RSI is showing signs of life. Of bullishness, the same goes with CCI and the stochastic, and the, we will most likely, uh, with the Bollinger Band, find resistance here at the 20 moving average, which is just at price level at 13.26. No interest in basically buying this, there's just too much resistance above. This is a market that is going to fall at any point. So, hope you find uh, this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and happy trading.